everybody! This is the mid-year book freak out tag because freaking out is just fun. Who doesn't love a good freak out, right? Anyway, so this tag is basically just a series of questions about how your reading year is going or how my reading year is going and different books that I read, different books that I want to read, and it's just a whole bunch of freaking out. So here we go. Question number one. What was the best book you have read so far in 2019? I'm going with Blankets by Craig Thompson. This is a graphic novel, it's a memoir, um, written by Craig Thompson, about Craig Thompson's life, his childhood, his growing up, and just him uh, processing through art and religion and just everything he had to process through growing up to become the man that he is today and it is absolutely brilliant and has a lot of deep questions about life and the universe and religion and art and it's absolutely brilliantly 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 done and this is the best book i have read so far in 2019. question number two what is the best sequel you have read so far in 2019 I'm gonna be honest, I haven't liked the majority of the sequels that I've read in 2019. And when I think about the answer to this question, I keep thinking about sequels that sucked or sequels that I just didn't like. And I cannot think of one that I really, really, really liked. Cause I mean, I just kind of DNF'd Waking Gods, which is the sequel to Sleeping Giants. Um, I didn't really like Wander Smith that much, which is a sequel to Nevermore. I don't know, like, just all the sequels that I'm thinking about, I haven't really liked. So I read, um, The Long, The, I read The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, and I am looking forward to reading A Close and Common Orbit, and I have a lot of hope for that one. I think I'm really gonna like it. I also, I read Leviathan Wakes, and... I am looking forward to reading Caliban's War, and I'm hoping that I like this sequel, um, but as a sequel that I like, but so far, so far I have not really read a sequel that was just like, wow, yet this year, unfortunately. Um, but I have hope. The year is only halfway over. We're not freaking out yet. I have lots of hope that there will be a sequel that I read in the second half of the year that I absolutely adore. What is a new release that you haven't read yet, but want to? Okay, you guys, Blood Witch. I can't freaking wait to get to Blood Witch. I'm so excited about Blood Witch. Hopefully next month, I'm gonna get to it. But um, yeah, Blood Witch all the way for that. Question number four, what is your most anticipated release for the second half of the year? Okay, I'm honestly, I'm not gonna lie on this one because there are, there are new books coming out that I am excited about, but you know what I'm really, really excited about is the Muse of Nightmares paperback. <laughs> I know Muse of Nightmares has already been released in hardback form, but I really want to buy it, but I want my book covers to match. And if I bought the hardcover, it wouldn't match my Strange the Dreamer paperback. So the paperback of Muse of Nightmares is coming out, I think in September. And I'm actually, that is the book that I'm the most excited about. I know, I know. But anyway, so the paperback version of Muse of Nightmares, I'm super excited about, but I mean, I'm also excited about, I know um, Skyward book two, Starsight is coming out in November. I'm very excited, but I haven't actually gotten to Skyward yet, even though I want to. So I can't say I'm like super, super stoked about it. I'm not like dying for it because I obviously haven't read Skyward yet. I want to read it before November though, so that I can pick up Starsight. Also, I know The Toll um, is coming out in September, I think. Let me see. Yes. The Toll is coming out in September, which is Ark of the Scythe book three. Um, I read, I read Scythe book one, but then I never picked up Thunderhead book two. Like I kind of liked Scythe, but I wasn't like dying to pick up Thunderhead when I finished Scythe. 
so I've kind of held off on it but I do want to pick up Thunderhead before the toll comes out so and I am kind of looking forward to the toll but I'm not like dying for it you know but I am kind of sort of looking forward to it coming out so there's that question number five I think I think we're on five what was your most disappointing read of 2019 that is gonna be Invasion of the Tearling. I'm so sorry, guys. I know this is so beloved. It's the second book um, in the Queen of the Tearling. Queen of the Tearling is the first book. Invasion of the Tearling is the second book. And to me, I loved Queen of the Tearling. It was like my favorite book in like the year that I read it, um, like a year or two ago. But ah, Invasion of the Tearling, it was really well written. It just didn't have the same feel to it that I loved in Queen of the Tearling. Um, there was just something about Queen of the Tearling and something about the characters and the way that they were written and just the simplicity of them and they were all book lovers and in a fantasy world and like I just I really connected with all the characters in the Queen of the Tearling and I absolutely loved it and then Invasion of the Tearling kind of took the world to like a whole grand scope and we didn't like I didn't feel like we got that like one-on-one -on -one intimacy with the characters that we did in Queen of the Tearling and I didn't feel like I really, really got to know the characters and I didn't feel like, I don't know, like I just didn't, it didn't have that same warmth to me that Queen of the Tearling had. I was actually super disappointed. It was really, really well written though. It was a really good story. Um, nothing against the author. It was, it was super well written, a really, really good book, but there was just something about the essence of the Queen of the Tearling that the Invasion of the Tearling didn't capture for me. So that was actually a super bummer. Um, what was your biggest surprise read of 2019? What is a book I think that you didn't think that you were going to like or you weren't sure about and you ended up absolutely totally loving? And again, I'm going to go with Sight Witch by Susan Denard. Um, I had no idea what this book was about when I grabbed it. I just knew that it was kind of like a novella somewhere in the Witchlands series or somewhere in the Witchlands series. So I grabbed it and I read it and it turns out this was literally my favorite read so far this year, I think. And it's so short and but it's um, Ryber and it's her journal entries. And I just connected with her so much through her journal entries and reading all of her journals. And um, I just loved her as a character so much. And I felt like she was my best friend. And I seriously can't wait to pick up Blood Witch now after reading Sight Witch. And question number six, seven, six. I don't know, I'm losing count. I'm sorry guys, <laughs> whatever. Favorite new author. I'm gonna go with either probably Susan Denard as a new favorite author. Um, I like Truth Witch, when she, she's writing the Witchland se series. I love Susan Denard as an author, probably my top favorite um, at this point. She Her books completely, completely blew me away and I can't wait to read all of them, more of them, the rest of them. Anything she writes now, I will probably just read. Also, Becky Chambers. I read The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet and loved it, and there's a lot of other books in the series, so I'm really excited to continue with this series as well. So Becky Chambers is another one that is a new favorite. I definitely wanna go by everything she's ever written as well. Newest fictional crush. <laughs> I mean, Ryber. Ryber from Sight Witch. Newest favorite character. And for that, I'm going to go with Morgan from Nevermore and Wondersmith. I love and Morgan from the Trials of uh, the Trials of Morgan Crow. Um, I think that's her right there in her little shocked expression right there. And uh, she's definitely my new favorite. Also, Magnificats. Magnificats are pretty freaking awesome. A book that made me cry. <laughs> The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. I ugly sobbed at the end of this book. Uh, I scared the crap out of my husband <laughs> when I finished this book. <laughs> yeah, I just, I was a mess after the end of this book. It was so good. And I couldn't pick up another book for a week. I, I, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I just had to just, just think and just, just be and just be in those moments. 
at the end of this one because the raven king the raven king is the final book in the raven cycle which is a whole book series and this was the wrap-up book and it was wrapped up so beautifully and wonderfully and precious and special and just all the feels this book just had all the feels i loved it um a book that made me happy Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This book is so much fun. It's full of space battles, it's science fiction, space stations and black markets and pirates and space pirates and superpowers and mind control and all kinds of fun science fiction action. Good characters, good plot, great world building. It, I, this book was so much fun. It was so, so fun. So made me very, very happy. Most beautiful book that you've bought so far this year. For that, I'm gonna pick an unusual one, but I'm gonna go with Foundry Side. Um, I just, there's just something about the gold and there's just something about the sunset and the moon and this girl in the window and the city on fire in the background that every time I look at this book cover, I'm just so intrigued. I haven't read Foundry Side yet. I'm going to pick it up as soon as I can. Um, it's on my list. Probably might not be till like November or December, but um, it's, it's, on my, it's on my list for this year. And it's just so intriguing and just like the gold and just even the way, even the way the, uh, the, the font is, the text is, it's just, yeah, I don't know, just, yeah, Foundry Side, I think, is the most intriguing, beautiful cover. Just makes me want to read it right now. And so, for the very last question, what are books that you absolutely have to get to before the end of the year? I really need to get caught up on Brandon Sanderson. This is a copy of Elantris, one of his very first books that I want to read. Also, Warbreaker. I have not gotten to. Um, I think I haven't been inspired to pick them up because I just got them, or I got this one like in an old used bookstore, and this one's also just like a mass market. And I kind of just wanted like the big, beautiful copy to read, you know? Um, like here, I'll, I'll show you pictures of the books that I imagined reading, and then these are the ones that I could find. And I was just kind of, I don't know, like I feel like if I had the big, beautiful copies, like, I would, I would read them a lot sooner and I would have been inspired to pick them up. But anyway, I just, and Brandon Zanderson, he just writes so fast. He writes faster than I can read, for real. I need <laughs> to get caught up on everything Brandon Sanderson, like everything, especially like old stuff that, like I haven't even started on the Stormlight Archives yet. I haven't, I haven't gotten anywhere near the Stormlight Archives with a 10 foot pole. So. There's a lot of things that I need to catch up on. Also, I really, really want to read Red Sister and, all, and Holy Sister and Grey Sister and the whole sister, oh, the Book of the Ancestors. Um, the Book of the Ancestors, is it a trilogy, cycle, series? The Book of the Ancestors series by Mark Lawrence. Um, again, I think I haven't been inspired to pick it up because the only one I could find was a mass market paperback and I just, I don't like reading mass market paperbacks for some reason. I just, I don't like it. I like big and floppy, you know, um, or, or hardbacks. Like I like, I like the bigger floppier books, not necessarily little mass markets. They just, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't like reading mass markets. Um, they're about magical assassin nuns. I love assassin stories. I love magical assassin stories. I think I'm absolutely going to love um, the Book of the Ancestors books trilogy. What is this? Is this a trilogy or is this a... I don't know. But hey, look, it's blurred by Timora Pierce. So that's got to mean something cool. Thank you so much for watching the mid-year book freakout tag. I love you guys. You're so beautiful. I appreciate you coming to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye!